What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. We have received an all new update on Samsung Notes application which brings in three new changes or three new features rather which could be useful for some of you guys if not for all of you guys. You might have already got the update and you might have already gone through these changes or the change log which talks about three new things and you might be wondering what are these new things all about. So in this video we are going to take a look at all the three changes that we have on Notes application. Before we go ahead, if you're new on the channel, make sure to subscribe and be a part of Apex community to watch some cool contents on Samsung Galaxy phones, Galaxy watches, Android applications and anything related to technology. And if you like the content, make sure you smash that like button as well. Now let's get right into it. As you can see, the change log says, treat image as text in the bracket it says anchor to text. The option to anchor images to text is provided. If you press enter as you would with text, the image will move. You can add text on top of fixed images. The feature to anchor text to audio files, web cards, etc. as well as image is provided. Now let me just show you what is this exactly about. Let's open note application. Let's open a new note here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add an image over here. Let me tap on the attachment and let's click image. Let me pick gallery and pick any of the images here. Now you can see I've got an image here. I can press and hold and move it around. And when I press and hold on it, I will get few options here. And there is this three dots. When I tap on this, we can see we have got an all new option called anchor to text. When I tap on this, what's gonna happen is I can place this cursor anywhere I want. Let's say if I place this cursor above the image, I can type text here. At the same time, I can also press enter button to move the image downwards. So this usually we do when we type a text. If you want to move the text to the next line, we are going to type enter and now we can move the images in a similar way. This feature is available on MS Word. It's a similar feature which has been added on Samsung Notes now. Now when I press back button, the image will also move backwards. And when the cursor is below the image and when you press back button, we'll also be able to delete that image with this anchor to text feature. This was not possible in the previous version. The cursor used to just move up and down without deleting the image or without moving that image. Now we will be able to move that image with this all new feature. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the second one. It says adjust highlighter transparency. You can adjust transparency of the highlighter as well as its thickness. Now again, let's go to note application. Let me tap on sketch option here. As you can see, the second pen kind of an icon you see here, this is the highlighter. When you press on this, now we have got an option here. We have got an all new bar here using which we can increase or decrease the transparency of the highlighter. This particular bar wasn't available in the previous version of Note application. As you can see here on Note 10 Plus, I have not updated this app. There is no transparency bar in that particular version. That's the second change that we have here. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the third change. It says configurations list of frames with the same height, a neat list of frames with the same height is provided. So what this means is, if you look at the current version of the app, you can see all these notes are uniform in size. I assume that they are talking about the same frames. And when you look at the same layout in the previous version, they are not uniform. They are all in different sizes. And now we have got all the notes in the same size or the same frame. That's about the third change. So these are the three new changes that we have on Samsung's note application. I'm not sure how many of you guys would think that these are useful features updated by Samsung on its note application. Do let me know your thoughts about it in the comment section below. That's all I wanted to share with you guys in this video. Thanks a lot for watching you guys. Take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.